Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can create a dual access bar chart using Python. I'm using Anaconda and then Jupyter Lab and running Python version, let's see, 3.97. The type of diagram that we're going to create is something like this one. This one was actually made with SPSS, but we're going to create something very similar with Python. Um, so it has a bar chart combined with an algive and the main key here is that we have two axes, one on the left and one on the right. So in order to show how that can be done, I'm going to be needing some example data. For that, I'm going to need uh, pandas. If you've never used pandas before and you want to follow along, then you need to do a pip install pandas first, and then you can import the library. Then you can use the read CSV function from it. And in this case, I'm going to load general social survey 2012 adjusted. I adjusted it a little bit to make these examples easier. And the first five rows or records, if you will, and all their columns, uh, we don't need all of this. We actually are only interested in one column, in this case in the accounting scientific, which was a question whether or not you thought um, accounting is scientific. I'm going to call that my field and just to have a quick first look I'm going to use values counts to see how often each option was chosen so as you can see the pretty scientific and very scientific are uh, quite lower than the not so scientific ones now the order is wrong because not scientific at all should be the first probably then not too scientific then um, pretty scientific and then very scientific so these two should be swapped we can do that with a re-index and then simply give it the values that we want in the particular order so now as you can see it's in the correct order let's uh, also store these two separately so the labels and the values and that can be done with keys for the labels and values for the numbers now to get a decent frequency table, I'm actually going to add the percentages, which can be done by um, using, first I'm going to convert it to a uh, pandas data frame, and then I'm going to add the percentages, and those are simply the frequencies divided by the sum of all frequencies multiplied by 100. And that should give me a decent frequency table. Now in order to add the ogive, we need the cumulative pre uh, uh, percentages. So what we can do is simply sum, use the cumulative sum, and that will give us the cumulative frequencies. It will keep on adding up these every time, and then divide it by the sum of all of them, and that will give us the cumulative percentages. All right, finally, we need something to visualize. So uh, pyplot is usually the one uh, that's often used. And for that, you will need matplotlib. So if you've never used that before, use a pip install. And otherwise, you can just import it. I'm going to abbreviate it with plt, which seems to be quite common. The bar, uh, the bar chart can then be made by using the pyplots bar function. We need the uh, variable name. Uh, we also need to define which data we're going to be using and which column it needs to be for the height. So this gives us our bar chart. For the ogive, we can use the plot function, same thing, and we use marker uh, as circles, and um, let's make it a red color just to l make it look a little bit different than the, the bar plot. The one thing now is that we need both of these in one. So what we can do is we can add an axis um, and uh, use uh, subplots. Then this is uh, simply the bar chart, and this is simply the ogive and these two will be plotted now together so as you can see they're both here the one problem though is that they're both using this scale so uh, the last one is a hundred percent so that matches over here with the hundred but we want this one to be on a scale on the right so for that we can use the twin x uh, function and then basically do the exact same as above so now they're both having their own axis. We might want to add some labels to clarify things um, so that it looks slightly nicer. So most of this should speak for itself. We just set a Y label to frequency. Uh, the other for the second axis, we set it to cumulative percent. 
and that makes things just look a little bit nicer also you might have noticed here it starts at 30 I prefer it to start at 0 so that's why I added uh, the minimum value there and that gives us a decent dual axis bar chart uh, I put all of this in one small function that can do the whole work for us uh, and then I just load it and it does exactly the same thing Alright, and that was how you can create a dual axis bar chart using uh, Python. I hope this was helpful and thank you for watching.